Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Theme Hospital. So, we have, we're about to open a new hospital. Just need to get some staffers. Uh, okay, we do not have much choice in terms of receptionists. Only one, of, one is available. We only need a janitor. And we only need some doctors, but let's see now. Okay, psychiatrist and researcher. See, the only researcher we have, he is. Okay. Well then, we're gonna have to hire him. Uh, let's see, I need one good GP here. I think that's gonna be you. And then we need a shrink. And then I need a nurse for the pharmacy. And one for the ward. For the for the ward. For the alliance. For the ward. Okay, let's open the hospital. And um, and just to speed to normal. And off we go. I'm just gonna hire more staff. I mean, I don't have I don't have anyone in the diagnostics. We don't have anyone in the inflation thingy bob. Initially, I don't think we're gonna need. It. Actually, maybe maybe we could use one more doctor. We'll hire this guy. And the settings now dictate that they can go to other rooms. Yeah, fine. I could buy the other area and expand, but I don't think there's any point in doing that. Well, not unless we want... Oh yeah, the inflation clinic. We don't have that one. Um... Actually, yeah, let's uh, let's splurge. So we bought another chunk of land up here. Uh, let's fit it on this side. Gonna be a rather nice wide corridor there, I think. Five squares, right? Yeah. Need a fire extinguisher here since this is a machine that can go boom. Look out for other bullfrog products. And we found a new disease, the squids. Yeah, we basically have one we read before, so that's fine. We need some a radiator, a drinks machine, and some benches. Probably a plant or two over here. There we go. I don't think we're gonna have the surgery department yet, so the, the, I don't need to have room available near the ward for that. We are starting to get a few more patients. Okay, there we go. Inflator has been enhanced by the research department. Because that's what the researchers do. They basically either improve machinery and stuff you have, or they uh, re find new diseases, so... They've improved our machinery up here. And there we go, it's bloody head. There we go. First case of that. Once we get a, a queue of like three patients somewhere, I'm gonna consider building another room of that type. 
And this will generally first hit the GP's office and the pharmacy, if I remember correctly. Where do we have here? How much room do we have to work with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Okay, so at least three rooms of different types. Well, the ward is rather popular now, two, two people at once. Finally getting some use out of it. I probably could have made it with just one nurse too, but nah. Not the case. Uh, sleeping illness. Cause. Overactive sleep gland in the roof of the mouth. Symptoms. Overwhelming desire to crash out everywhere. Cure. A high dosage of powerful stimulant is administered by a nurse. Yeah, they're always gonna feel cold. Irks me, I need so many radiators to heat up the area. Uh, but I think we're gonna remove this bench there. Not that. Let's see, come on. Trying to select the bench there. Uh, there we go. And let's set it up there, over there. And buy a new radiator. That might uh, fix our heat distribution. He's cold, but you're outside. I can't heat up the outside. And the squid struggle has been improved by our research department. Okay, that's fine. Research is good. Now, if I was an evil hospital director, I'd of course change the policy so that even after we have identified the disease, we keep them here and run them through more diagnostics to make more money out of them. Um, sure, we'll invite the VIP, that's fine. The risk of doing that, of course, is that the patient could die before you treat them. So, it's useful. I think I'll have to reduce the adjustment, uh, the announcer volumes even more. Or, oh, nah, actually no, it's fine. A new slicer has been successfully researched. Lovely! So now we should be able to build a slicer tongue, yeah, uh, slack tongue clinic. Of course we have to afford it. Oh yeah, we can't afford it. Oops. Of course we don't need it yet. Uh, Who are you waiting for? Okay, two people queuing for the, the GP's office now. We're about to lose money though, since it's the end of the month. So I'm gonna wait a bit. I'm not gonna wanna build the slack tongue thing until we actually need it. Halfway to winning the level, you don't say. 
Um, what do we actually need here? We still have to make money. And we have to cure 40 people. So we have a very sli small slice of the populace sadly coming to us. You're freezing. You should not be freezing. The radiator, radiator is right over there. Ugh. Okay, we definitely need our GPS office at this point. And I can't build it. Doubly. Personalities, I've seen that before. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, come on, let me build it before you. End of the month crisis. That's four, that's five squares. Out. You're gonna have a desk there. Doctor required in GP's office. Nurse required in ward. Let's see. Telegram. Okay, there we go. That's a superb hospital, and I should know I've been in a few. You've been awarded a cash grant of five, uh, 1500 Your reputation in the community has been boosted. What do you know? Um... Doctor, attending psychiatry, please. More benches. And it looks like we are going to need another doctor, because... Doctor required in general diagnosis. I'm going to park you there. You're going to go to wherever you need to be. Perfect. Another case. Uh, uh, we don't have any more diagnostics rooms. Send the patient home. We can't. Can't do anything either, sadly. Um, okay, new condition. It's gut rot. Calls Mrs. O'Madis good time whiskey cough mixture. Symptoms. No cough, but still stomach wall lining either. But no stomach wall lining either. Cure and nurses can administer a selection of dissolved chemicals to coat the tum. Uh, heaped piles, which we've seen before. Another mysterious case. Uh, send the patient home. I'm not going to take any chances this time. If we can't cure them. They go home. Oh, disease, the uncommon cold, which we've also seen before. Could use a bathroom all the way up there, actually. At least the queue here has gone down just to do, just two. So things are improving, except our cash quarters. You're three quarters on the way to losing this level. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. And I believe that is because of the um, cash balance. Uh, 
Uh, exhausted diagnostics. We have to send them home. Don't have more diagnostics machines, sadly. Come on, we need to make money. We need to stay up, stay in positive income. Maybe I should have played on easy. <laughs> oh dear. Ah. Uh. Oh, I couldn't diagnose that one to the finish. Wait a second, did we have all the diagnostics? GP, yeah, we have all the diagnostics. On the other snack tongue clinic, but uh, um, send the patient home. Right, we did tell we need need a specific type of. We didn't a specific building, didn't we, to actually diagnose that one correctly. The slack tongue one. Curing most of the diseases at the moment. Eventually, hardware will be begin to malfunction and blow up. Okay, there we go. We are. Faith on the Hall of Shame. Oh well. So, not doing all that well there. And no rewards whatsoever, sadly. Okay. Or maybe I was wrong, let's see. Richest Hospital was not us. Uh, highest salary, still us. Cure count, we're second. No deaths. We have the least amount of visitors, but the most value. Rewards. And we built the best reputations, so an extra cash reward for that. Very few people have come to your hospital this year to make money. Uh, yeah, that's true, so we suffered a reputation loss there. But we gained it back again because our hospital is squeaky clean. That's good then. And we have some trophies. Hereby awarded the min uh, have awarded the cabinet minister's award for the most impeccable standards and highest reputation possible this year. Nicely done. Two thousand cash for that. You have won the No Croak Award for keeping hundred percent of your patients alive in the last year, plus ten thousand cash. So yeah, that is the, uh, certainly an uh, incentive not to take chances with the patients. The Global Dentist Association is proud to award you with this trophy for, and plaque for selling lots of canned drinks in your hospital. Yeah, nice. Okay. That means we have plenty of money to get us through the next year. We are going to build the Snack Tongue Clinic. With a slicer. Do that. The plants are thriving, and that's nice to know. Okay, Slack Tongue Clinic. Pi patients diagnosed in the GP's office with Slack Tongue will be sent to this clinic for treatment. The doctor will use a piece of high tech machinery to extend the tongue and snip it off, and the thus returning the patient to normal health. The Slack Tongue Clinic requires any doctor, it also requires needs maintenance every so often. Uh, another question mark, let's see. Invisibility. Uh, send the patient home. Will not take chances. Not with that no croak award thing, that was just something we really want. Patients, please keep your 
the germs to yourself. <laughs> We should get another psychiatrist. Well, I will if we have a significant queue, but we don't have that yet. Let's see, LB probes, third, and third. It's like a to visit the hospital. Sure, let's get the VIP in. So we haven't still haven't cured a single one of those slack tongue things. I thought they said we had to research a diagnosis clinic of some sort, but I don't think we have. Our staff is quite happy. That's good. Drunk casebook, that's pretty much the diseases we have, or rather the. Yeah, that's all the diseases we know of. So we can always basically tweak prices and stuffs. Okay, so we can treat slack tongue, we just can't diagnose it. Wait a second. No, we don't earn money. I was starting to wonder if we earn money from autopsies. The cures are pretty good. You know, the 5% efficient. So ain't perfect, but it's getting there. We have another stack tongue one. And there we go again. Uh, 75% ch chance. No, send the patient home. I don't... I need to make sure that we get the <laughs> No Croak Award. Certainly getting more people now. Some of them are currently unoccupied. Yeah, but that's because they're relaxing. Four patients down there. A couple up there too. Must treat patients faster. Ah, send the patient home. So yeah, we need... We need some more diagnostics. 
But I don't know how we can fix that. Let's see. Briefing again, let's see. Cardiogram, okay. Most rooms have to be researched before you can build them. Okay, so we can't do that until we... Okay, we need to research the cardiogram somehow. Um... Case equipment, diagnosis. Okay, um... Definitely more on diagnosis. Eventually we'll figure things out, but my goodness. Until then we just have to send all these cases home. Because I do not want to risk our uh, good reputation. Uh, maybe it is time to uh, make sure that the poor announcer is reduced. Let's see, we actually found something. Okay, there we go. Hmm, not a bad medical establishment, certainly. You have been awarded a cash grant of 800. Thank you. Useful. Okay, I think it's time for another short break here, and we'll see if we can maybe eke out a victory on this map next time. Thank you for watching.